How you doing, Mr. DJ? Back counting down, resuming counting down my fancy playlist, July 15, 2007. Maroon 5 makes me wonder at number 14. Down from number 9 the previous week, a fantastic pop record, retro sounding, 70s, mid 70s, early 80s record. It great beat to it, radio friendly. Little wonder why it went to number one on Billboard's Hot 100. Some of that funky guitar work reminding me a little bit of War Brothers Johnson. Maybe an echo, a faint echo of Bootsy Collins from back in the day. It's just a funk rock and roll track. Maroon 5 from their second album, It Won't Be Soon Before Long. This song broke a record. The fastest moving record, the biggest jump on Billboard's Hot 100. It debuted at 64. Next week, it was number one. And that record was surpassed three years later Later by Kelly Clarkson. My life would suck without you. Well, obviously, the song did not suck at all because it debuted at number 96. Next week, it was number one. Not even the Beatles did that. Or the King, Elvis himself, did not do that. They must have been rolling in their graves. <laughs> Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> All right, makes me wonder about Maroon 5. You know, this song took a took the band a while to work on. They couldn't quite match the chorus with some of the music. And eventually they took it to their producer, Mark Endert, E-N-D-E-R-T. And they told Mark Endert, we don't really like this track. But it's got possibilities it just needs a fresh start, a new beginning, a new approach. See what you can do with it. Mark Endert, through a system called Logic, I'm not sure what it is, it's probably a synthesizer or a computer system, at a studio, he programmed, the, he programmed the keyboards, the guitar, the drum parts, on an 80s rolling, an 80s rolling drum machine. Or it might have been the, <coughs> it might have, <coughs> excuse me, it might have been the Roland 808 TR, but I'm not sure. I thought you can only program drums into this, but I guess you can be pretty versatile depending on how technically sophisticated you are. But the bottom line is this. He created a uh, mock-up of a track, created a new track. He flew to Los Angeles. The band listened to the track, and they liked it. They said, let's go for it. They went to the recording studio in Los Angeles. I believe it was Sunset Studios. They made a new track, and they replaced, on this track that Mark Endert created, they replaced the... Bear with me. I'm trying to, trying to put my mind around this. They replaced some of the parts, some of the guitar parts, the drum parts, in the Logic System or the Roland 808 with live instruments so that it would sound more like Maroon 5, like a Maroon 5 record. Well, it was a success story. Went to number one on Billboard's Hot 100. Is there anything else I need to add to this? I believe that's it. God, that 80s Roland. I, used to, I did some research on that 80s Roland. That was something else. 80s Roland used by a lot of hip-hop artists back in the day. But it was only produced for about uh, three years. But we got Maroon 5 at number 14. Down from number 9, what makes me wonder. On my fancy playlist, July 15, 2007.